just unwrapped it. Board on that two and a half inch. Goes onto the cat. And then the tailpipes. So a proper look at them. I don't know if you can see in there the chamfered uh, three. Uh, three inch there. Oh, you think it's uh, gonna sound really nice with them? That's the front pipe. Let's uh, hold on them. I'm not gonna take him out the bags yet. It's just like Christmas. Well packed as well. I've done like a straight foam into it. Packed it. Well tidy. Well made up with that. Hello, Cleo 197 being remapped by Aris Tuning just to get rid of the um, flat spot between two and a half five thousand revs and uh, it's running a standard exhaust so uh, I think it's getting a little bit restricted so I've gone and bought this for it it's uh, made by Gravity Performance and, uh, full stainless system two and a half inch bore it's, um, nice bit of kit really for what I, it's reduced from 325 and got it for I think it was 249 and you've seen on the on the video anyway I've got it on the uh, when I bought it off eBay uh, it is an eBay product by the way but well made up of it <coughs> Three inch tailpipes, chamfered, nice. Should sound quite well that. Comes with the casket, I'll see a gasket, goes in between there and the bolts and all, all the clamps. Look at the weld on it. Yeah. The weld in. But you can stay like it look like that all the time after it's been used, isn't it? Uh, should be quite well on that. Uh, next time you see this, it's getting fitted to the car, so I'll link all the videos together. That's what it came in. Well wrapped by the way, it's all got if sprayed foam into it like I did on the previous one. Like that. Yeah. Hey, that's it. New exhaust for the Cleo. This should sound really nice. Well chuffed with that.
Hello. Right. I actually fit the exhaust on the clear now. Uh, but we've hit a problem. Where the cat flanges on that to that. Uh, I think this is bigger. How are you doing? All right, mate. Yeah. Oh. Our side of things isn't the problem. No, I know. This is the problem, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I know. We've made that fellow about 10 mil too long. Right. So. Yeah, we need. So get that to marry up to that. Well, it's not short when you push that up and you'll fit. It's 30 mil clamped now. It's, the thing we're going to do is cut that and see if they get one to fit the clamp. Anyway, yeah. That's it. Stuck here for another couple of days, I suppose. Anyway. Right. That's it. For now. Now, going back to the problem we had, that, hence that wasn't fitting, what they've done, they've cut the one off the, the old exhaust, uh, whatever that is, it's off the front of that, and they've uh, welded stainless to that, in all fairness, so, that's it, we're ready to go back on, we hope, hopefully, hopefully we won't have any, uh, no, no mishaps again. Yeah, I'm on my own now. Let's have a proper look at it. I'll see if I'm in. Yeah. Stainless steel to mild steel. Fair dues. Let's tidy that. That was the problem. Was. That was too rounded, what they'd already done. So he's cut the, as I was saying, he's cut the top off this. There, and which, that's where it was there. And he's welded, cut the length off that, and he's made it a little bit longer. Uh, apparently, I just shoved the sleeve, sleeve down. Right, onward, get it fitted. Right, we've got it fitted. It's been a little bit dodgy, but uh, I don't think I'd use them again to get an exhaust, to tell you the truth. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fitted in there. It's going along here now. Yeah. James is not happy with the way it's fitting in, in the actual heat shield here, but it is an aftermarket thing after an old So we've had on the lumbar sensor, you see where my finger is. I've got a little pin all there, but he's put some stuff in it. So we need to just let it run and let it harden up for 10 minutes. Anyway, let's just run it down that way again. He's had a nightmare with, with this week, not just with this, with everything. It's, uh, The tailpipes now. Oh, there's a little bit of clearance on them now. Isn't it? Uh, they've been. Uh, I don't know. Uh, right, that's it. Finally fit on. Uh, I'll make a noise test, a sound check on the test on it tomorrow. That's it, yeah. Right, so I don't know if you can see this underneath, but it's, it's all been oiled by me again. 
you know all my cars get oiled up underneath all the brake pipes everything it does work but it, it softens the actual underbody sealant they put on but uh, there you go there we are nice shiny exhaust pitch you can't see it when it's down and again well wind it round Oh, my God.